I'm always excited about going somewhere new. This is a big, big world, and I've seen a lot of it, but there's still a lot to see. I enjoy the ocean. I enjoy the travel. I enjoy fishing. 15 years later, here I am, and it's a, it's a career. There's always gonna be people that like fishing. There's always gonna be people that have resources, but for someone to really make this, this leap, that, that's, that's pretty rare. This is definitely the most aggressive mothership program that I've ever worked for. This exists because we do have a unique individual like Anthony that is so committed and so passionate about this sport and pushing this sport forward. And that's kind of some of the perspectives that he brings. He looks at the stuff on a historical level and um, really does care about the sport and, and making it progress and not letting it fade out. Just someone to commit that much scale of resource to, to what we're gonna do is, is pretty unique. So the, the idea is kind of this, you've got two big support boats, the 150, the 175. Each one of them carries their own smaller game boats. So on here, we're carrying the 33 LNH. We're also gonna be supporting a new 57 Spencer. So in the Atlantic, it's gonna be this boat, the 150, the 33 on the back, and the 57 on its own bottom. And then it'll run to Madeira and meet this boat and the 33 in Madeira. So that's gonna be uh, you know, Madeira, Azores, Cape Verde, Angola, Senegal, the coast of Africa. And he's got a 75 Delta, that's the swordfish boat in California. And then we've got the 92 Jones Goodell that traditionally lives in Cabo and that's going in for a big refit. And then we've got the 144 that's in refit right now, uh, a bunch of big holes in her, um, generators out, uh, gyros, stabilizers out. And that's gonna be a local boat, a South Florida boat along with the Nortec. And then we've got a 175 in build right now. It's just a bigger version of this should come out next spring, and that's gonna carry our 43 release, and then also is gonna carry a 32 Blackfin, which is pretty storied boat. That's Anthony's first diesel sport fish boat he ever owned. Until the 175 comes out, we're shipping the 60 Viking from La Paz, Mexico, to uh, the east coast of Australia, to the Queensland area, and then we're gonna run that up and have that on the Great Barrier Reef. It's all about coverage and we're going to have a boat in every ocean and we're going to have a boat in every marlin season. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of just the most aggressive sport fishing program that I know.